How you doing, DJ? DJ retarded. <laughs> All he had to do was press play. What's that so hard? Press play. All right, what's that? There's an echo in the back, man. What's up? How y'all doing, man? Clap it up for me. Haitian in the house, Sakwasi. Sakwasi. Who's Sakwasi? <laughs> That's crazy, man. I'm Haitian. I'm happy to be here in America. Any, any, any Trinidad's in here? Trinidadian, make some noise. Trini to the bond. Trini to the bond. That's what's up, man. Spanish people, make some noise. Okay, just two of y'all. I want to say Merry Christmas to all of y'all. If you're Spanish, Ready Slavi that. If you're Haitian, Jean is Noel. And if you're Jamaican, Poop Poop More Fire. <laughs> all them there. We all them there, them there. <laughs> I'm happy to be here, man. I've been living in America for like 14 years. I went to high school here, I went to college, I got me a degree, just bought my first house, can I get a clap, just bought my first house. And Haiti though, I bought me a chateau. <laughs> Cost about 755,000 Haitian dollars. That's like $20 in America. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm the new Bill Gates of Haiti, eh? <laughs> With $20, your wife in the club. <laughs> See, crazy. I grew up mad poor. I grew up so poor, my house was made out of cow manure and dirt. That's poor. Cow manure and dirt. When they get hard, they become like a cement. I was telling my American friend about it. He was like, damn. Your house is the shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to take your shoes off too, sir. We might be poor, but we clean. He like, I hope that's not the house you just bought in Haiti. Cause if that's the house, you got a shitty deal. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I hate when I tell people I'm Haitian and they ask me a question like, yo, how come you don't have flies on your face? That's disrespectful. They ask me a question like, yo, you know voodoo? <laughs> Not all Haitian know voodoo. Most of us. Like 99.999. I'm the one person that don't know how to do voodoo. When I do voodoo, good things happen to people. I did voodoo on this guy because he used to call me Haitian Booty Scratcher. Haitian HBO. That's in for Haitian Body Odor. I did voodoo on him two weeks later. He hit the lotto and got rich. I did voodoo on my girlfriend because I want her to stay with me forever. She left me. Now she was the first guy I did voodoo on. <laughs> My voodoo ain't shit. <laughs> I should not even call it voodoo. I should just call it voodoo. <laughs> do nothing. But I see in America, y'all do job by different from us Haitian. In America, you do a job by like, pull, 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 shoot up the whole spot. In Haiti, we do a job by like, Aah! Mad boo. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> Everybody living out here like, oh, I can feel my legs. <laughs> this Haitian, oh, oh. He said, I can, oh my God, I can feel my legs. <laughs> 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 you coming home to me, yeah. <laughs> you want some, you want some, you got. <laughs> she Haitian, you get it, did. oh, oh. <laughs> you like, oh, oh. <laughs> it's crazy. Cousin just moved in with me like two weeks ago. 
He's sleeping on my couch. That's my cousin, that's my heart, not me. Last night I came home from work. I was hungry, tired. He had some food in the fridge. He wrote his name on it. <laughs> Big man, not selfish, right? So I got mad I wrote my name on the couch. <laughs> Dubois. <laughs> Write my name on the sidewalk. That's your new home. <laughs> It's crazy, man. I'm having fun up in here, man. My life. Let me tell y'all something about Haiti, just in case y'all didn't know. Haiti was the first country in the Western Hemisphere that got independence in 1804. First country in the Western Hemisphere with independence in 1804. If you go to Haiti right now, it still look like we live in 1804. <laughs> Ain't nothing changed but the earthquake. Ain't nothing changed. People ask me stupid questions like, are you going back to Haiti? I'm like, hells no. You think I swam all the way from Haiti to come to America just to swim back? I'm staying here. Just don't call immigration. <laughs> you call immigration. Ooh, I'm, I'm going back to Haiti. Oh. Say it's a jiggy time again. We are really swimming. <laughs> I'm having fun, man. My name is Stanley Dubois. Yeah, it's Haitian. You're looking at me. That's really Haitian. I know. That's really Haitian. It's how you say all the way. It, Haitian, Dubois is a Haitian name. You know, I hate when I tell people my name is Dubois. And they'll be like, yo. They mispronounce my name and call me Du Bois. And I'll be like, I don't do boys. <laughs> I don't do boys. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> One time I was sick, I went to the hospital. This gay doctor, he was real flamboyant, right? He came out the back all flamboyant like, Du Bois? Who Du Bois? Is there a Du Bois in here? Stanley Du Bois? I jumped up, I was like, Stanley don't do boys. Stanley do girls. I do. <laughs> and with a name like Du Bois, I can't go to jail. Look at me. I'm like 5'3", 85 pounds, soaking wet. I know there'd be some big dude in jail from Brooklyn be like, yo, son, ha, <laughs> ha. I heard you do boys. <laughs> no, my cousin do boys. <laughs> you see him, how you doing? <laughs> I'm just fine. You do boys, Yadi? I'm just fine. <laughs> yeah, you want me to lick you up, boy? Me, I shoot up this whole one place. You know, Jamaican never say a word without cursing. How you doing, Dr. Jean? Yes, Dr. Jean. <laughs> Every you walk in a you walk in a class, you say Jean. The whole class walk out with you, cause all Haitian name is Jean. I'm just the only different one. <laughs> I'm just fine, man. Y'all relax. So it's crazy, man. I don't know, man. Um, my life is a lot different now, man. That I'm doing comedy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember when I first come to America. I used to go like corner store and steal little candies and stuff. Yeah, I had, I was young. I had bad habit. I was like eight, nine years old. I, I had bad habit. I used to go corner store, steal little candies and M&Ms and stuff. One day they caught me, they called my mother. And you know West Indian parents, she don't play that. She came inside the store and beating me in the store. She said, that's right. <laughs> she was like, don't, why? Tell you when you go to the store, do not steal candies. When your brother and your sister go to the store, they don't steal rice and candy. They steal rice. 
chicken and peas so your whole family could eat. And you hear selling candy, go to your room. I'm sorry, mama. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I think I did enough for my $20, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did enough, man. For real. I'm a, for real, though, um, I don't know if y'all seen um, a Geico commercial that said, hey, you look like Stanley. Y'all seen that commercial? So clap it up for me, man. That's my first commercial. I wrote this shit. I wrote it. Clap it up for me, I said. Doing big things in America. I wrote that commercial, man. The only problem is they wanted to pay me in Haitian money. That's like $3. <laughs> I had to. <sighs> they like, okay, okay, $5 million. $5 million. <laughs> I actually had fun with you, man. I didn't come to do too much. Stanley, thank you very much. <laughs>